In studio, Pat from Menaki, one of our favorites. We haven't talked to him in a while. Hey, guys. What's up, Pat? Hey. I there see, he is. I see Pat's wearing the Opie and Anthony Traveling Virus Comedy Tour Ooh. T-shirt that that's, my brother designed. That's yes. a that's a great little thing. It's like an oldie time circus thing. Yes. Yeah. You guys have crazy stares on it. <laughs> <laughs> crazy stares. We're staring crazily. Oh, not a had... not a wacky staircase. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking staircase myself. It'll also but, be uh, crazy stairs. I can get the t-shirts. Uh, they're all over the place. Uh, they're on all the websites. Uh, my brother did a fine job with the, with the design. Anthony Pat from Minaki for the new listeners. Oh my God. What well, do we need to tell them? Pat is from the town of Munaki, yes. which is in New Jersey. Yep. Pat lives in a trailer uh, yep. near the uh, airport, like right at the end of the runway, pretty yeah. much. Teterboro or Newark? Teterboro. Uh, yeah, Teterboro, right between uh, Giant Stadium and Teterboro Airport. Munaki. <laughs> Munaki. Munaki. Just told where Munaki was. A lot of holes in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, we we did a, a cribs mm-hmm. a while back with Pat, and uh, his place is um, awful. It real it really is awful. Uh, there we, there there were holes in the floor. Yeah, and where you could see outside. Yeah, we need to get him on that show where everyone cries at the end of it. Yeah, where he uh, get an upgrade or something, and where the host likes to drink and drive. What's the name of that show? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, didn't he get get a Dewey recently? Ty Pennington, whatever yeah. his name is. What is the name of the show on ABC? It's a, uh, it's a huge hit. What? Man. Extreme Makeover? Something? Extreme Home, home makeover, makeover or whatever. We One need, of those. We need to get Pat, a, a, like, someone to redo the trailer a little bit. Ooh. And then they pull the bus away, and then all of a sudden there's a mansion where his trailer used to be. Yeah. And everyone cries and goes, cries. Yeah, well, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, we haven't spoken to you in a while. It's yeah. kind of why, you know, we want to keep back, keep in touch with you and oh. get back, uh, you know, I'll get, I'll get a little info from you because last we heard, you were in some kind of relationship, and that was it. Yeah. I know, well, that was that's that's all we know. That's around Christmas time. The last time I saw you was Christmas, I think. Like, yeah. Right around the b- yeah the baby, baby bird baby, baby bird video. Baby bird. Oh, yeah, right. We're, we're talking to the star of the baby bird video. Yeah. Just uh, throw baby bird in break dot com and you'll Ooh. see what Pat could do. Oh, yeah. Pat's got capacity. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that's a resume <laughs> stuffer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it. L- let me tell you something. People think it's fake because so much uh, eggnog comes out of your mouth. That they can't possibly believe that uh, you drank that much. But you did, and uh, you vomited all over one of the interns. Yep. And it just goes on and on, and it's, it's like a fire hose. Looks like Godzilla devastating <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> Where he, he has his little fire death ray out of his mouth. Yeah, it does look like My tail Godzilla. lit up, too. <laughs> it looked like Godzilla. So when we, last we left you... You had kind of hooked up, but not hooked up. You had some girl, and she was living at your apartment, or apartment, your trailer. My bachelor pad. Your bachelor pad. You were losing weight. Yeah. yeah. You were yeah. trying to get yourself in shape. The I, hair was coming back in. I was weird yeah. seeing you totally bummed. Yeah, you were trying to grow what little hair you still have left yeah. out. And yeah. now I see you kind of just went right back to the old pad. So we yeah. want to know what's going on with you. Uh, we wanted to know about that. We want to know about your van because last we left, your van was bro- busted and you run a delivery service. <laughs> so you can't do work without a van. So we want to know if you got a van. We just want an update on Pat's life. Well, uh, you know how the spider crawled up the water spout? Well, the water washed me down. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, down came yeah. the rain, and uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, washed Pat out. Ew. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, you're saying um, things didn't work out too well? No, no. The girl uh, moved back to where she came from. I still talk to her once. Oh, in a you while. do? Are you yeah. guys still friends? Yeah. Okay. See, now Pat wanted a little more than a friendship, though. Is what I, I kind of was. You basically said you were in love. And yeah. That she was well, your girlfriend. Yeah. I remember yeah. all this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. And she was uh, kind of using you as a no. place to stay. <laughs> no? no. No. I offered. She never promised me anything, and I was just trying to help her out. Yeah. And. Uh, mm-hmm. Did she steal stuff from you? No. 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 Not, none of that. No. Where, where did she sleep in the uh, trailer? Because I know it's very small. Uh, She slept in the bed. I slept on the couch. What really? a gentleman. Yeah. 
She it was slept winter. In the bed. You could have used that to your advantage. In the winter, I would never not yeah. share the bed. In the summer, you have to do that because they could just sleep outside. Yeah. But in the winter, you like you get two options. Yeah. It's me or you freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, did you try any way, shape, or form to to actually join her in the bed at some point? Even saying that it was not sexual at all, just uh, no. You said I'll take the couch. Yeah. You take the bed, hoping that she was going to go, no, it's okay, Pat. You could yeah. stay in the bed. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. you got to make some kind of effort. Well, you got to say, you know, uh, I, I, the bed's big enough for two, is it? Is the uh, bed big yeah. enough for two? Well, So the bed's big me. enough for two. You know, I'll I'll stay on this side, and you know, I'll wrap a blanket around me. It's, you know... Why did you go? Why didn't you go that route? Why did you instantly like uh, write yourself up? I didn't want to push anything. I well, because I need to lose weight and uh, I don't find myself attractive. So oh, I don't think anybody else would either. Self-deprecation. Oh, yeah. You didn't want to be in the bed with her. Yeah. And, were you trying? Uh, to, were you trying to like self-improve while yes. getting this friendship yes. going? And then by the time you got yeah. to your goal, you had this close relationship. Yeah, that was sort of my plan. We, we and we noticed it was working. You lost some weight. Yep. Yeah. At, at the time, because you, you I was like almost. You put it all back three. on. Yep. Yeah. What are you weighing now? Uh, about well, I started my extreme fat smash uh, Monday because I heard from E Rocky have to do it on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, it was uh, like three forty. Three forty. Yeah. You were under three hundred when you were hanging out with this yeah. girl, though. So you've gained wow. like, close to fifty pounds since Christmas. Something like that. Yes, you're if diabetic. I want, if you want to be too. mathematical about it. <laughs> <laughs> you're diabetic. Yo yo dieting yeah. is not healthy for you. Yeah. Isn't that an MTV you show? <laughs> I think yo yo dieting. No, it's, it's making a 15 year old MTV show joke. <laughs> we should get Barely. him on. Fat Five Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> we should get him on Celebrity Fit Club. We can get you on Celebrity Fit Club. Yeah. Am I they a want, celebrity? Well, they want yeah. someone from this show on Celebrity Ooh, Fit Club. I'd love You'd be to go perfect. on. Perfect. You would. You kind of got a, a good personality. They like that. Ooh. You're uh, a little um, rotund. They like that. Mm. You showed them that baby bird video. They'd be like, "How do we not put this guy in cell Exactly. Right? How do we not? Yeah. Exactly. Now, what happened to your van? Uh, well, it was registered to my brother's old company, and there was a few tickets on it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and it got. S s I found out they have this new technology where they could scan license plates and just find out how much you owe. And as I got pulled over by a city sheriff, they were hooking it up as I'm talking to him, going, uh, you guys listen to Opie and Anthony? Uh, uh, oh, you played that part. Yeah. Didn't work very yeah. well, did it? Yeah. I'm Pat from Monarchy. Uh, uh, I called Big Cav. You know, keep the cop's number. <laughs> <laughs> Just in panic mode. Trying yeah. everything. And evidently, when they scan your plate, you're already in the system, and it's too late at that point. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. that's what they tell you. So I'm, like, waving goodbye to my van as I'm standing on uh, Ninth Ave. That's cold. nice. I'm drinking beer Thinking with cops as I'm a doing 160 in a Lamborghini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, take it easy. This poor bastard's getting his van taken away. Yeah. How much did you owe in tickets? Uh, like $3,600 with the fines and everything. Where did you park? On a child? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> it, was, it was registered to my brother's old company that doesn't even exist, so nothing's coming back to me. So, But I they took the van. Yeah, and that, that's the only scenario that could cause a problem. And, yeah, and it did. And the uh, the van obviously isn't even worth that much. Yeah, so that's you wouldn't why, pay yeah. that to take it out. That is so correct. So now it's going to go to what public auction? Uh yes. So how would you get here today? Well, I got a. Uh, uh, I went from a, a scooter. Yeah. <laughs> Raise it now. Uh, I went from a '95 Ford van with 420 thousand miles on it. That's the one that got taken away. Wow. Now I have an '89. Chevy van with uh, 109,000, which it's relatively just broken in. It's brand new to Pat. Yeah, it's yeah. Broken this in. is a brand new van in yeah. Pat's world. Yeah. The last one had over 400,000 miles on it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you do a lot of driving, too. Yeah. So. I'm in and out of the city. Yeah, yeah. And any uh, any problems with it? Or it looks like it's going to be okay? You're nothing it'll, ticking? It'll or... get me through the summer, at yeah. least. Get me to the yeah. virus shows. Jesus. We, we ought to have a little charity event for Pat. Yeah, we got to do something for Pat. Yeah. We need to find you a girl. We were responsible for caving in the roof and breaking the windshield of his last yeah. van. Remember oh, that? Yeah, well. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I, duck, I duck while I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Maybe we can get a girl to go out with Ooh. you or something, Pat. Uh, no, that, no, too. I got, I How is the love life? How is the love life? You're I just not paying put attention. I those things on hold. 
Oh, you don't have to lose weight. Yeah. You could do both at the same time. Well, yeah. It seems like a girl is kind of incentive for you. Like you were doing well yeah. when you're in the company of a woman because, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you want to do this for yourself. You yeah. want to do it for other people. I'm just not worth it. Which, yeah, see? Is it, well, most people say they finally get to a point in their life and they go, I'm doing this for me. Yeah. And then that's when they succeed. When you do it for other people, you don't really succeed. So, you know. Yeah, I have a hard time visualizing my goals. I have to have them right in front of me. Yeah. A woman. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking maybe you might do better, you know, doing away with the whole thing that actually works yeah. and what people really do for themselves and do it for a superficial things yeah. like sex and yeah. uh, money maybe, Ooh. whatever. Did you, yeah. Did you uh, get depressed when she left? Was there a heartbroken uh, period in Pat from Monarchy's life? Well, I was trying you were to... really into her. Let's. Uh, I mean, I hope the new audience understands. Pat was in love. He yeah, in love. he he bragged yeah. to us. He's like, oh, I got a girlfriend. I want you guys to meet my oh, girlfriend. I got a girlfriend. Oh. He was heartbroken. Thank God the cholesterol stuck it back together yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm taking that uh, diabetes drug that they just warned about heart attacks with. Oh really? <laughs> on to me. Yeah. Jesus. Oops. <laughs> Maybe you ought to find a new drug here. Yeah. So and, and 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 by the way, to the listeners, uh, hey, Pat Lewis. does. <laughs> Did you? By the way, uh, listeners, uh, uh, Pat has nine toes. Right. Because yes. one was removed in a horrible um, diabetes um, incident. Yes. Yeah, it kind of turned what? black on you, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It fell off. I, I want to get off. into the depression there. You mm -hmm. got? Oh. You went through that period, like like yeah, walk us through it a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to kind of deny it because I have naturally bubbly personality. <laughs> yeah. But uh, internally. Yeah, you're the ultimate um, clown. Yes. You're you're just smiling on the outside and weeping on the inside. He's a very so, he's too fun on the outside all the time yeah. to well, not just be crying all the time how inside. Did the, a facade. How, how did the yeah. breakup uh, occur there? Uh, well, how did we, it go we're, down? We're not really going out. But you thought like she was your girlfriend in a way. Well, yeah. Uh, she yeah. saw it differently. She saw like yeah. a place to stay and maybe some stuff she could steal. No. Uh, <laughs> realized no. you didn't have anything <laughs> to steal. No. Uh, Pat is the new John Candy minus the movies, career, and success. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's uh, coming from Pal Talk. <laughs> All right. So she leaves. How, how did she tell you she was leaving? <laughs> Uh, she said, uh, drive me to the bus station. <laughs> oh, God. Was she a temptation song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, that is awful. That's like yeah. a scene out of a very bad, sad movie. And, yeah. and you said, what do you mean, drive uh, you to the bus station? Right? Well, so I, we're picking I gotta, someone up, yeah. are we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Mom's coming in for the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> Departures, please. <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> <laughs> so there had to be some kind of discussion, because now you're like, what, you're leaving me? Well, I kind of saw it coming. Oh, I did, yeah. Yeah. Why was she leaving? Oh, yeah. Uh, because uh, she wanted to go back to Missouri to her family. She thought a change of scenery might do her. Why was she here? To get away from her family. Went, well, it wasn't her family. It was. She's kind of estranged from her mother, mm -hmm. but she still loves her mother. And she was in a bad relationship, and she kind of got out of it. To She came here to get out of it. Uh -huh. Sort of a change of scenery from there. Now and she and then she the needed to change. Wow, that's a quick yeah. change of scenery. Of yeah. Oh, Pat. Well. Oh. So you, you drop her off at the bus station, and then what happens to Pat from Minaki? The bus uh, is now leaving. I went back home and uh, had a big dinner. Did you? Yeah. You just ate I away. I a lot of aggression, along with a lot of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you drive her to the bus station? Yeah. Oh. Was Beast there head? tears? Uh, mm. On my part, yeah. Oh, uh, God. No. Oh, Dad. Were you blubbering? You don't You don't leave Blubber? somebody <laughs> like that. <laughs> Blubber, he's blubbering Coming now. Coming again? <laughs> Were you There's prop marks on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Were you weeping? Uh... Yo, old nah, not really. A little lump in your throat. Yeah. 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 It was dinner. I thought it was cancer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> My life will never be the same. <laughs> that commercial. The smoking guy commercial. Yeah. Are you doing smoking guy commercial? Yeah. Let's hear a little more of that. Uh, that's all I know. He likes swimming, but he can't likes, anymore. Yeah. Gluck, 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 gluck. All right, wait, hold on. Maybe I could help you out a little bit. <laughs> Got to help Pat out a little I bit. I do this way, my lad. This is what he's referring to, of yeah. course. His larynx has an accent. <laughs> I go drunk, dance with a steady knife, wrong with mobbing. 
So that's how I lost my voice and why I have a permanent drug I had to me. Every two weeks, I had to see the otolaryngologist to make sure the cancer has in cut bed. I am always afraid of bad news. Today. I will have to do this for the rest of my life. There you go. You guys uh, a wet blanket. What? Really? What a yeah. killjoy. <laughs> Can't they get a voice box that doesn't sound like Tweaky? <laughs> Can't they? Make- meaty, meaty. I was going to trach you out of me. I, the food would just come out and I wouldn't gain any weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's it's 2007. Where's the synthetic voice thing that they could put in that goes, hello? Hello. You just talk and it like talks for you. So, Pat, you went back to your trailer alone to be lonely yeah. again. Any yeah. prospects since? Any ladies mm, come a calling? Nope. Did you lay down in the bed after she left and and smell the pillow and kind of go like, oh, she's gone? Yeah, walk yeah. us through the breakup yeah. and the depression and oh. what you were feeling. Uh. Yeah, you did that. Yeah, I kind of blocked that out. But thanks oh. for bringing it up. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> what I happened, man? Just, it's, it's, uh, you love this girl. You guys well, she should... never promised me anything, so I can't yeah. really complain. We know. Yes, you and, can. Yeah, okay. Yes, you can. You gave that girl the best pounds of your life, uh, and what did she do? She, she left lost you. them. She, <laughs> she died them away. It's a sad... Look, I mean, we've all gotten shot down before, but this was a girl you were hanging out with. It's like when you offer somebody... It's like you kind of said, look, I'm going to change my life for you. I've offered you everything. You're giving somebody who you are. Yeah. And they're not, for whatever reason, they're saying no. Like, not. I believe that's mm. called unrequited love. Ah. That's what they call it as yeah. it gives a nervous titter of laugh, <laughs> laughter. And it requites stunk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret some of the things you said to her now that uh, the relationship no. is over? No, not really. What was the sappiest thing you said to her? Good question. Yeah. yeah what did you say that you were trying your best? And what was your best moment? That then? whole, it makes me happy to make you happy. It was kind of... Oh, did you say that? God. Yeah. It makes me happy to make you happy. And what did she yeah. say to that? Uh, besides uh, openly laugh. <laughs> uh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Oh, yeah. That's sad. And what did she say to that? Uh, yeah, that, that's nice, and goodbye. <laughs> oh, did you come on too strong, do you think? No, not really. No, it's just I don't think there was an attraction there, and it's completely understandable. Mm. Why is it understandable? Yeah, why? Why do you I, put I, yourself I, down I, so much? You've got a great sense of humor. Come on. Like when you were losing guy. the weight, you were looking good. Yeah. You yeah. grew in your hair a little bit. Everything was uh, looking up for you there, Pat. Yeah. Well, times have changed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what can we do for you? Uh-huh. Find you a date. Get you on the fat smash. You're doing the fat smash. Yeah. I got. That's my number one. I wanted to lose some weight because I have Nathan's coming up. Right. Uh, two weeks, Shea Stadium. A week from this Saturday, Shea Stadium, my first qualifier for Nathan's in the parking lot. Nothing Talking about a hot dog eating contest, obviously. Yeah. Oh, the famous 4th of July sure. hot dog eating contest, yes. of course. Yeah. All right. Were you angry at all? Did you have any anger with it? I, I mean, we've all gotten shot down. It's not just... Uh, no. I just sort of accepted my lot in life. Yeah? Yes. You must I have, ate a lot of food. You must have some bad feelings. <laughs> Uh, I did, no, I wished it was different. Not uh. anger or anything. Because I think she had some issues that she needed to deal with. And she, some people, don't, they don't deal with their issues until it's time. Were you so. trying to help her deal with those issues? Yeah. Like you would be very, uh, very, um, you'd sit there and talk to her about them? Yeah. And yeah. what would she yeah, do during this? Yeah, and I came this? off kind of being like trying to be a father or something. Oh, oh yeah. God, that is not what you want to do. No. Yeah. You should have seen a girl. That um, needed some help, uh, came out of a bad relationship, maybe had some low self-esteem, yeah. and used that to your advantage. Not quite low enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what really bothered yeah. He saw that. the low self-esteem and went, what? Damn Come it. on, how could this girl not do this? I just need you to feel a little worse. Could you yeah. Feel a little yeah. Worse? yeah. By the way, uh, everyone's doing their, their best pat on the instant feedback. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sean from Patterson. Pat's girlfriend left 
Pat's girlfriend left, folks. Moose out front should have told you. <laughs> 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 and then uh, Stephen from Bayshore, Stephen asks, Pat shouldn't worry about that girl. He still has Betty Crocker and little Debbie. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, mm. And then Jason from oh, Rye. Joke. You can see here on the right, Pat from Monaki. And as we go around the back, you'll see that there's only the front. This yeah. is called the facade, which means false front people. Yeah. As we go about around the back, you can see he is actually crying. <laughs> the smiling front. Do you still you still talk to her? Yeah. What, is she going to come visit you at least? Uh, we're talking about that. Maybe uh, down the road. <laughs> you still want her back. Oh, oh man, I, I, Pat. I, 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 uh, you still love her? I still love her. <laughs> oh my God! Do you um, when when you talk to each other, is it by phone or computer? What do you do? Uh, sometimes uh, we talk on the phone. Um, most of the time, we just text back. To, text. Back and forth. You send any pictures? Have you seen pictures of her lately? Yeah. No. 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 Have you asked? Do you have a picture of her? Uh, oh yeah, I have a couple. Oh, do you look at them every so often? When was the last time you looked at a picture of her? Uh, well, there's just one picture of her, just her eyes. That's my uh, my uh. Screensaver. <laughs> oh, oh, God, no. Oh, <laughs> I stare into every time I log on. Oh, my God. Her eyes. So you up. look right into her eyes yes. as you log on to your computer. Yeah. So you're looking at her every day, her eyes. Something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> and when I close my eyes. <laughs> Wait, let me ask, what is your ultimate fantasy? Oof, uh, uh, that I'd, uh, I'd lose weight, get my uh, things together, and... Uh, be successful, move out of the old trailer, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then uh, hopefully she get her life together, or me help her get her life together, and yeah. then the live on Venus, because yes. <laughs> there'll be colonies on there by yeah. then. <laughs> Jesus, Pat, what do you got to do first? Lose weight. That's what your but goal you is. But you were, and you gained 50 since, I know. since Christmas. I know. That's you 10 could, pounds a month. You could lose it, though. I mean, yeah. if you do this, you could lose. You could get. To, what do you want to get down to? Uh, whatever my normal weight should be. I've hey, had some advice. My wrestling weight was 240. This is going to be a little harsh, but a girl like that could ruin you. Yeah. You got to move on. She can yeah. ruin yeah. you. It's going yeah. it, 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 to put, put, put her your, out of my mind. Yes, because you're going to be my, obsessed. Yes. You're, you, well, I, she was the only I thing, sense... that cl the closest thing that came to motivating me. I mean, I know I should in my brain just do it for myself and right. all that thing and for the potential. but Because that the other things will come later. Oh, is that your phone ringing? What the yeah, hell is maybe that? Maybe it's her now. Oh, look how excited he got. Uh, sweet old got Alabama. A, a phone call. <laughs> look at him. He's all excited. It's sweet old Alabama. <laughs> Let's work. Uh, uh -oh. Why is that so ah, loud? <laughs> Ringer. Uh, I don't know. All right. Let's say hi to Miranda. Miranda. Yes. Hey. What's up, Miranda? How old is this poor fella? Um, how old are you, Pat? I don't even know. I'm a Sprite uh, 43. Uh -huh. Oh, he, he has the rest of his life in front of him. Yeah. He shouldn't. He should. And his belly. <laughs> you know. Well, well. Who's on the phone? Okay. Who spelled poor? P O U R soul. Who uh, is this poor soul? P O U R. Travis uh, misspelled poor. Miranda, would you go out with Pat from Minaki? <laughs> and I can't um, spell. Well, I don't know. Is he, has he ever been married before? Does he have no. what, what kind of baggage does he have? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> some extra baggage, as they say on the personals website. A steamer trunk. <laughs> he just grabbed his extra baggage. Yeah. Why? Would you go out on a date with uh, Pat from Minaki? He sounds like he's a nice person, and you shouldn't yeah. judge somebody because they're heavy. Would you mean, read How me old your you? rights, <laughs> Miranda? How old, How old are you? <laughs> How old am I? I'm 48. 48? All right. Uh, Ever been married? Uh, yes, widowed. I'm sorry to hear that. Widowed. And what do you look like? What do I look like? I'm um, about 5'6". I weigh 137. I have strawberry blonde hair and green eyes. You lost me at 48. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, man, Pat. <laughs> wow. Oops. Good boy. <laughs> you know, he still has his... Uh, yeah. Thanks for nothing, old lady. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. Are you basically <laughs> saying uh, you're not you know, that I, desperate? I have high standards, and unfortunately, so do the women I'm attracted to. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, What age bracket are, are you looking at? Uh, well, she hung uh, up, by the way. She oh, was out. oh, Miranda. Oh, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not really. Uh, <laughs> what age bracket are you looking for? 
Uh, what's legal? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's your, depends what's, on what state you're in. <laughs> what's your high bracket? High, uh, Highest you would high, go, uh, age-wise. Around my age, I wouldn't, I, uh... No, you wouldn't. I mean, I've seen some, uh... Well, your Hepburn was hot in her <laughs> 60s, but... You're talking, we're talking about the average woman walking okay. the street. Okay, right, probably around my age, around 40. How old yeah. was your girl? Yeah. The girl you liked. How old was she? Yeah, how old was she? She's uh, 25, 6. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he was crying at the bus station. <laughs> Is it a king? No, no, uh, A big no. face full of bus soot. Yeah. 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 Tears running down. She's uh, happy to be sitting next to Ratso Rizzo. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's say hi to Tracy in Westchester. Tracy. I'm falling apart hey, here. Guys. Hey. <laughs> Listen, I, I have the answer to his problem. He just needs to lower his standards and date a 40-year-old fat woman. <sighs> mm. What are your feelings about uh, overweight women? Uh, some uh, are fine. Some are fine. Yeah. Depends yeah. on how you carry it. Yeah. Uh, you like the big boobies, don't you? No, 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 no. Carry it all up nah. top. All right, listen, we got to take a break. Why don't we uh, get some more women like Tracy and Miranda to call yeah. and maybe give Pat some advice. Ooh. Get him back on, the, on, on, on course here. Yeah, you got it. You got to, like, take care of yourself. He has very low self-esteem, ladies. Ooh. Help him out. Yeah. And he likes uh, he likes to eat when he's depressed. Huh. Obviously. Because when he was happy, you look like a different person, Pat. I got to yeah. tell you. All right. Well, well get... he was happy making her happy. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. It's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony Show on 92.3 Free FM. It's Opie and Anthony. We're talking to Pat from Munaki. Munaki. And also, don't forget, it's uh, Rock Scream Tuesday. Ooh. And um, and then that was my cue to play it. And for some reason, this disc doesn't want to play when, oh. I, when I need it to play. Now we're getting an error message. Ah, whatever. What's up, Jimmy? Uh. This Thursday through Sunday, I'll be in New Brunswick at the Stress Factory. It's my last weekend before HBO, if you want to come Ooh. out. Oh. And then we're all going down to Washington to watch yeah, uh, little Jimmy Norton tape uh, his HBO special. Show you my hour. A lot of excitement yeah. around the radio show these days. Uh, what's up, Pat? So we're we're trying to get advice uh, for you from the ladies out there. Oh. Pat's down on his luck. Yeah. I'm in a rut. A big rut. It's rare they last 43 years. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a rut. Yeah, when when does a rut just become your life? <laughs> right. yeah, it's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. We got to yeah. do a few things. We got to get him a girl. We got to get him on Celebrity Fit Club. And we got to get that home show thing. Yeah. Where they pull the bus away and then everyone starts crying in the neighborhood. Give him a. Uh, and a we new don't want place a mansion. We just want maybe uh, a, I new don't know, trailer, a new trailer. Nice. I'm Pat from Munaki on the mansion on the yacht. <laughs> hey, Natalie. <laughs> Hey, what's up? What's up? Turn down your radio. You're live. It's Opie and Anthony and, and Pat from Munaki. What do you got? Um, We were thinking that you guys should hook him up with that chick that's 50 and still a virgin because she would totally appreciate him. <laughs> Pat's not going for stupid Patty. Well, what do you think? Well, let's ask Pat. You never know. Maybe he has a secret crush on uh, Stalker He's Patty. So naive, secret to me. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying you're not that desperate, right? I love Patty. <laughs> Just not in that way. Yeah, kind of like the way she hey, you guys, Tanya liked birthday. me, Can we get loved some tickets me. Or something? What? It's my birthday. Can we get some tickets or some wow stickers or something? Oh, wow. It's your birthday? Click. Yeah, the big two, three. The big two, three. You say that like it's an yeah. event that we all look forward to. Like there's right uh, age range, anyway. The big or, two, three. Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on the line. We'll give you some wow stickers. All right, thanks. That's funny. Right. Tickets or stickers? <laughs> guess what option you get, stupid? <laughs> For the big two, three. Big two, three. Compromise stickers. <laughs> uh, Lisa from New York, what's up? Hey, uh, you know, I was thinking there's a lot of chicks on the message boards and pal talk that know Pat pretty well. Ooh. I'm sure he could hook up with one of those chicks. Yeah, have any of the girls on pal talk or the message boards uh, shown any interest whatsoever? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? I mean, they've seen him. I, yeah, that's the pro that's the problem. They've seen oh. me. Oh boy, Pat. Pat, you're a big fella, but you're, yeah. you're very personable. You're funny. I mean, yeah. what personality goes a long way, man. Yeah. I mean, if they're on the uh. message boards, they know his humor. They know what he looks like. All right, we we got. That. All right, what about you, Lise? Would you go out with? They've Pat seen me and on? they know my humor. That, that's pretty much shoots me down. <laughs> right. That's the, well, no, that's the problem. I'm married, so no. Oh. oh. 
details. Have you ever uh, tried the message board? Have you gotten close or gotten any leads? Uh, Anything like that? Been on a date with any of the girls? No. No. Okay. Just you know, you know, I, you know, I think most of it, I probably could. If I wanted to, I'd go out and, oh. you know, score, as they say in the sports <laughs> world. Uh, have, you, have you scored lately? Hmm... The century? Uh, no. <laughs> no scoring. When's the last time you had a goal? Yeah. A goal? Yeah. I don't play soccer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you play on. sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> I did fire that out with way too much confidence for yeah. a wordplay joke. No, when was the last time you... you... I just used my hands. <laughs> when was the last oh. time you got the, uh, you know... Uh, uh, with another person? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, when Tanya was asleep, believe... Oh. What? When, when his <laughs> who cares? <laughs> when his friend was asleep. Where are we? <laughs> Good one. You know that he would probably cover be in the that living up, room. Maybe. Well, it doesn't matter. No. Yeah. But he, you know he'd be in the living room. Oh God! Did you do that when uh, she was sleeping? Maybe look at her and well, take care of business. Uh, we covet what we see <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. So. Pat, you will let me know when those lambs stop broiling. <laughs> <laughs> so when was the last time you got, you know, uh, oh, when you got right, everything? Uh, Let's just call it everything. Everything. Uh, the, uh, Be uh, honest. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to think. It was like a bachelor party back in the 90s. <laughs> uh, wow. Really? Yeah. With what? The dancer? A donkey. Uh, no, like afterwards, some... It'll like, be a stripper. Before I raised my standards. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... And that was the last time? That was, yeah. what, late 90s, mid 90s? Listening yeah. to that new band, Pearl Jam? Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> Maybe early 90s. Early 90s. Early wow. 90s. Wow. wow. So, so yeah. what do you do to take care of things? Well, uh, eat? <laughs> no, no, you know. Uh, eat? Like... <laughs> The usual. Like when it's time to take care of things. What, yeah, daily when... prostate maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> how, how often would you say that you have to for yourself? Would you say once yeah. a day, once every other day? Uh, yeah, something like once every other day. I mean, hooker. Is... What? What about hookers? I, yeah, I can't, like, uh, convince myself that uh, I'm not ruining somebody's life. Ruining somebody else's life? Yeah, Their lives are ruined I, already, yeah, believe I me. I just, uh, what are you talking about? How oh, you like a hooker's going to come in and say, yeah. no, I don't want to have sex like with I feel like I'm you. contributing to that. Big I deal. Just, I mean, I did once a long time ago, like when I was 17, the second I was able to, the first time I drove into the city. Why, like did, the, you the hold up, why did you hold up your arm like you were looking at a watch that you don't have on your arm when you said, <laughs> I was about 17? Yeah, right. That's an odd thing to do. He used to have a watch. She took it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Uh, well, yes. What's wrong with that? Because here's the thing. I always tell this when I've got hookers. Like You do know you're contributing to someone's downfall, but yeah. it feels good. Yeah. And also, you know that you're a nice guy. You're not going to be abusive to a girl if she comes over. Yeah. So if you're paying her for sex, yeah. you're not going to You're going to treat her nice. Girls used to, like, I would always treat them like dates. I would never be rude or awful yeah. to hookers. So what? You're sleeping with a big deal. It's a service. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, let's hear the story. So you're 17, you're driving the city, and where did you find the hooker? Uh, you went old school, went Times yeah. Square on us? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not Times Square. Down uh, Downtown. Christie Street, I believe it was. Hmm. And it was... Uh, Hi, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like yeah. it might be uh, a, <laughs> little, a little too close for comfort. Down there. Like in the 80s. Uh-huh. 80, 80, 81. So what, was it a street walker? It's probably pretty, yeah. it's pretty yeah. scary yeah. back then. Wait, let's get... Let's yeah, get it was like, yeah. Wait, hey, so, you, so you slowly uh, started uh, driving by? Stopped the car? What? Yeah. What? yeah. And what did you say? What was the conversation? Uh, Walk us through this. Gee. Mm. Uh, hi. Want to party? I was like, oh, yeah, I like parties. <laughs> so I had a fan back then, uh, too. And I had, a I had a couch that somebody had to help me with. Uh, Would you? And, uh, yeah. So she said, you want a party? You said, I like parties. And yeah. she got into the van. And then and then what? Where'd you go? $40 later, uh, I had a smile on my face, and I was driving back to Jersey. <laughs> Where'd you guys go, though? Under a bridge? Where, uh, where'd you park? Like... Down around the corner, it was rather dark. Didn't matter. It was the like Wild her. West back then. <laughs> huh? It was rather dark, like her. <laughs> oh, God. A 
<laughs> she was a black girl. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. She's all right. Wow. And now, and all right. Let's uh, let's say hi to Lindsay in Boston. Lindsay, what's up? <laughs> That's great. I just wanted to say that um, uh, maybe he can't get a date because he kind of sounds like the father from Family Guy. Uh, Peter Griffin. Uh, uh. I think it. I think it kind of be a turn off because it's kind of funny to hear. A little bit. And that's coming from the Boston uh, girl that has the accent. Yeah. So uh, there you go, Pat. They, she I hope says, you have a myocardial infarction. <laughs> 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 Let's go to Adrian. Adrian, Jersey, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? Good. I wanted to say to Pat that I think maybe some therapy might help him first. Ooh. Oh, a little therapy? Pat, ever consider maybe therapy? Well, he knows he has a father that he has never really seen. Oh, here's another part of the Pat story never we seen, forgot right? about. Uh, that is correct. You've never seen him? Never, not even a picture. And you wow. and you Googled him or whatever. Yeah, I know map right where him, he lives. Yeah. And you know exactly where he lives, yeah. and he lives kind of close to you, and you slowly drive by sometimes. Very close no, to him. I never drive by. <laughs> Why he have you never seen within miles. Uh... My uh, my uh, mother and my sister had told me that he didn't like taking pictures. I don't know. <laughs> I don't that is know. the worst yeah. lie I've ever heard. Yeah. So when did he leave? Uh, probably shortly after I was born. Really? Yeah. So you kind of feel a little responsible for that? No. No. Wait, why did he leave shortly after you were born? They, I don't you were, know. You were unplanned, you're thinking? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe. Well, now that you bring it up, uh -huh. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Wait, you, so you know, I, we know you never had a relationship with your dad. Oh How could you not want to go just drive by and see his face? Uh, it's a, well, if he didn't want to see me, uh, I don't want to see him. Well, it's not about him, what he wants. Yeah. It's about you and your own curiosity so you see where you came well, from. This, uh, this is funny and awful at the same time. Oh, it's tragic. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Why don't you go by and look at his face? You don't have to talk to him. Just look at his face. Uh, I feel kind of stalkery. So why? Just looking. Stalkery. Just knock on the door and go, Dad, have a delivery. <laughs> you want to go play catch? A punch in the face. <laughs> Let's make up for lost time. Just remember, <laughs> Pat. You are never to blame. You're never to blame, Pat. Oh, That's right. I feel better now. Yeah. Is he alive? Uh, as far as I know. Well, um... Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. uh, our staff around here is just terrific. Here's some of the things that have happened since Pat got, uh, you know what, uh, everything. Can you say? Oh, oh. So this is uh, since, yeah. since he had uh, since he had sex. Sex. Thank you. Um, well, O.J. Simpson uh, was acquitted of murder. Uh, U.S. presidential election, 1996. Bill Clinton is reelected. Oh. Columbine happened. Uh, the USS Cole bombing. Of course, September 11th and uh, space shell disaster wow. goes on and on. Wow, Ew. a lot of things uh, went on. People have been busy, <laughs> <laughs> other than me. <laughs> All right, we're just uh, touching the surface. Are you Palantir. embarrassed? Yeah. Are you embarrassed about your genitals? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. You know, I don't know. He's, he seems it's a legitimate no, question. No, it is. Really. no. Well, no, I'm, I'm self-conscious about the weight. Okay. So it's the so, whole, yeah. you know, the yeah. whole package that is Pat. But yeah. you're you're self-conscious, but you were down to a nice weight, and it was getting better every day. Uh, yeah. But then but she no. left. But she left, and yeah, it got you back no. to yeah. eating a lot. Do you binge? Yeah. Like you, you go out like oh, two o'clock uh, yeah. in the morning, like cheesecake or what, what? Like what is it that does you in? What's your monster? Uh, every once in a while, I get like. Uh, I think I have uh, portion control issues. <laughs> Like 25 hot dogs in 12 minutes. No. Portion control. <laughs> so you eat a lot of whatever you're eating. Yeah. You'd get fat on, like, lettuce. Like, the last thing I had was I haven't had uh, uh, pistachio nuts in a long time. I polished off a five-pound bag in in, uh, in a couple hours. Five-pound yeah. bag. I, I mean, when you first taste it, it tastes great. But then by the end, you're just shoving this salty <laughs> crap in your mouth. And, and say like, just ah. awful words. Just to finish it. And then when you're done, you're like... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's a drug. That wow. Is, yeah. Well, it's, it's a, a drug. Well, it is like I've been watching that show uh, Interventions. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, food addictions are exactly the same, except for the only difference is you have to eat food to live. Yeah, yeah so you can't swear off yeah. food. Like if, if yeah. you're an alcoholic, you know you stay away from booze constantly, you'll be all right. Yeah, I, I feel food, great when I don't right. eat for a couple of days. And I'm like, oh, I feel great. All right, listen, we're but running out of show. Yeah. This is what we're going to do. Dr. Ian Smith, when's he coming in again? He's coming in soon to check up on Iraq, and we'll have to have you come in. Oh, hell He'll yeah. talk to you. He knows all about this stuff, uh, food addiction and everything else. And he's going to scare you a little bit about oh, good. the fact that you're way too heavy, and yeah. that maybe that'll help you as well. Then we'll get you some therapy. Then we'll get you on the show where they move the bus away, and everyone cries because your trailer <laughs> will become something else. And hopefully we'll also get you on Celebrity Fit oh, Club. Nice. How big is your Thanks trailer? Looking up. <laughs> How big is your trailer? Uh, I believe it's uh, 30 feet long. Is it a, a standard kind of square trailer like you see in trailer parts or is it like a um yeah rectangular yeah uh, uh, or is it is it like one of those that you see on the back of like old cars going down the road in 50s films like the streamline or something it's my my trailer is a 70 buddy trailer is the brand <laughs> oh my God. yours is a 1970 yeah Oh, wow. I'm, All right, listen. Is it clean inside? Well, no, newer trailers are like like houses. Yeah. yeah. Like less yeah. Than ceilings and listen, let's just stop right there. We're, we're running out of show. We want to do line oh. of the day, give out some tickets, and get out of here. And uh, we'll have Pat on in yes. the very near future when yes. Dr. Ian Smith stops by. we got to figure all that out. I think it's next week or maybe later this week uh, Dr. Ian Smith's uh, uh, coming back on the show. All right, line of the day. Yes, we got two runner-ups. Here is uh, the first runner-up line of the day. Oh. Researchers believe it could benefit some air passengers on red-eye flights, although tests so far show the benefits only apply on flights going eastwards. It'll be a red-eye flight for the female companion flying with the gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Viagra story. Yeah, yeah, very sure. good. That was uh, one of the runner-up lines of the day. Here's another runner-up line of the day. Yes. All right, here we go. One more runner-up line of the day. Where the hell did that come Ball from? Buster. I, don't, I don't remember that game. You open the box and a girlfriend pops out. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Jimmy. Jimmy. Stress Shocks factory all weekend up. long in New Brunswick. Vinny's Club. It's a great club. Thursday through Sunday. So competitive on this show. Everything's a contest. I know. Finally, here is today's uh, line of the day. Right? Yep, he goes first. All right. <laughs> here, here, here. Come. Jimmy's song. Line of the day, line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. How old am I? I'm 48. 48, all right. Uh, Ever been married? Uh, yes, widowed. I'm sorry to hear that. Widowed. And what do you look like? What do I look like? I'm about 5'6". I weigh 137. I have strawberry blonde hair and green eyes. You lost me at 48. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Half from Minaki with line of the day. Oh. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll have you back in with Dr. Ian Smith. Pat from Moonaki. See you guys. Hey, for everyone that's... Uh...